Hi, I'm Shannon Dennis with Benign Align. I've got a great tank top project for you. We're gonna start with a blank tank top and lace embroidery designs. And I'm actually gonna take my finished design off of my machine right now to show you um, what you wanna look for in order to set your design up correctly. For this embroidery design, it's not actually a lace design. It's actually an, an elegant edgings from Who's Run a Viking uh, embroidery design collection. And you can tell that it's not a lace because there's very large gappings in some of these areas, like this little teardrop shape right here in the center of the entire design actually is not connected to any other part of the design. So if I were to embroider this just on a water soluble stabilizer, I would completely lose that centerpiece of the design. Knowing that, I used um, a very lightweight, flexible netting, not a bridal type of netting, um, but a very, uh, almost like a stretchy type of knitting, just to hold all of my design elements in place. It's nearly sheer, so once I put it on my tank top, you won't even be able to tell, but it gives my tank top just a little bit more stability and allows me to um, have all of these beautiful center designs not and not lose them. The other thing that you're going to do if you're sewing um, either this type of edging design or a real traditional lace design that's completely connected is you want to make sure that you're using the right type of stabilizer. For um, lace, freeform lace or 3D lace as it's also known as, you're going to use a water soluble and what that's going to do is when you are done embroidering your lace, the stabilizer will dissolve away and you'll have a freeform lace design. These are two different water solubles. One is a dissolve away, which is this kind of plasticky looking um, water soluble. It's very thin, it tears very easily. Um, it's just, it's very nice as a topper. Um, if you're going to embroider, I'm sorry, on any sort of fleece or a sweatshirt where you want your stitches to stay up just a little bit and not sink down into your fabric, this is a great, great stabilizer to use. However, if I were to use it with the lace, I would need multiple layers of it and it tends to stretch and because it tears so easy, the stitches would perforate it and your lace would just not even work. You wouldn't even be able to finish sewing it. The other type of stabilizer I have here is called an Aqua Magic and this is actually a woven stabilizer. You can see the weave. It almost looks like um, a bunch of, uh, like a rice paper, almost a handmade paper. It does tear, but not as easily. It takes a little bit more strength to tear, and you can see it's real fuzzy when it does tear. This stabilizer acts almost like a woven fabric, so it gives your lace a lot of stability, and it's not going to stretch. So your lace design isn't going to be um, waffly or warp in any way. I use two layers of the Aqua Magic, and it is my personal favorite stabilizer. And then I hooped the netting and embroidered my design, which is what you saw just a minute ago. I embroidered my design using a beautiful iris embroidery thread. This is a polyester thread. You can see the sheen is just gorgeous. So it's gonna stick out a little bit, but the colors match beautifully as well. So you're gonna have a nice um, little bit of attention drawn to it, but just enough so that you know that there's lace on there, that you did the work, um, but it won't, won't be so showy. You wanna use polyester thread when you're embroidering with any garment, whether it's kids' clothes or your own clothes. This would allow you to wash it, to bleach it. Um, it also won't fade in the sun. So if you're gonna be um, out playing volleyball in this tank top, make sure you're using polyester thread so your thread doesn't fade. Once your embroidery is done, going to look like this and I've already started this process but I wanted to show you the rest um, because I used netting to keep all of the parts and pieces of this beautiful design together I'm going to have to cut away the netting so I'm just gonna cut real close to the thread make sure that you're not cutting into the threads at all for your design and you can pull the netting out so you just kind of snip away at it you're not going to cut the stabilizer just the netting and I tried this the first time I did this tank top. I took the entire design out of the hoop and it made it a lot more difficult. So I would advise that you stay in the hoop while you're trying to cut this away. It just keeps everything nice and tight for you. So you can just pull this netting away and snip it. So once you're done, you're just going to have the design that you've sewn out on your water soluble stabilizer. You're going to take that and make sure you follow the manufacturer instructions for your lace design. Um, and we'll tell you what temperature to wash the water soluble in. I use the lukewarm water um, pretty consistently for all of my water soluble stabilizers. Then you can place your embroideries wherever you'd like to. They can go along the bottom of your tank top, 
I liked it up here, right along the neckline. Just a really cute little accent to this tank top. You can see it changes the personality of it. You could put little crystals on here, embellish it, beat it, use couching on the remainder of the neckline, maybe embroidery design that comes down the front of your shirt. At this point, you pin it in place and you can use um, either hand stitching to tack it or you can take it to your machine and stitch it. And for more tips, hints, and projects, make sure you stay tuned to the 9